what what are we doing with quarterback? What like how are we gonna gonna frame this? Because in the minds of literally everyone, I, I don't know anyone outside of internal coach speak who is framing this as a battle. Uh, and so what's the what's the give and take between okay, Bo Pabula actually having a shot at becoming a starter at Penn State this season versus keep keeping things in perspective and saying, okay, uh, Drew Lar did this last preseason enough to pass Christian Vegu, earn the second string spot, got a bunch of reps, right? P- played in key moments when uh, Sean Clifford certainly in the first game had to come out. Like, where do you land on this? <laughs> how do you how do you want uh, to come at it in terms of framing the conversation there at that position? It's so funny because like when you talk to people in the program, you have to sort of filter out what's going on in, in terms of Bo because they are, are so excited about this kid. Like, yes. like in another year, if Drew's not here, he's a starter. Like that's kind of where they feel about this. And you have to balance out like what does that mean in relation to Drew? Um, and the other thing is like all these other positions we talk about don't really matter that much until you find out what you've got at quarterback and you figure out where you're at with that. So I don't know how to frame that, to be honest with you, because um, especially with, uh, you know, the Drew is so damn talented, but Bo is is just completely different. Like not not saying he's not talented, but like he's the worker. He's the guy that uh, that the everyman wants, uh, you know, to to be out there. Um, so I don't know. It's it's, it's so tough to. And we're going to talk about this for the next seven months or six months or whatever it is um, in terms of quarterbacks. I think they're going to stretch this thing out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a fine tooth uh, argument because it's just going to keep coming back to quarterback. And, and, and I don't know, I don't know how to handicap it at this point. Like it, it, it makes sense. And everybody that you talk to expects Drew to be the guy, but then, they don't want to write off Bo because Bo is a talented guy as well. I, I, I don't know, man. Like it's, yep. it's just, is it just talking points? Is that where we're at right now with the quarterback position? Yeah. I don't, I, look, like I'm naturally going to go to Christian Hackenberg and Trace McSorley, even though it's not that, right? Uh, Christian Hackenberg was the guy in 2015, but McSorley was there, right? Like th- there was no lack of conversation and buzz about McSorley kind of behind the scenes as Christian was getting knocked around like a rag doll throughout that season. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's almost as though, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to make some presumptions and feel pretty good about it. Right. We're going to say, okay, Jewel R, he, he's going to be the quarterback. He's going to be the starter next season, but, but keep, keep an eye on this kid, right? Keep an eye on, on Prabula because there, there is enough conversation that I'm not sure I'm willing to go so far as to say, uh, I expect it to be an actual, like, yeah, this is down to the wire kind of deal. I, like, I just, I don't think that, but uh, I, I do think that he's going to be a guy that, that people have to watch. And, and, and we're, we've talked to enough people where like, you can, you can work yourself into that argument in your head that transfer portal era, they're saying good things about Bo to keep Bo around. But I don't, I don't yep. think that's the case. Like we've right. seen that stuff before. I think we've got pretty good filters on that. And and I don't think that's really the issue here. I, I Let me clarify here, just so that my point is not uh, mistaken. <laughs> I, I do not anticipate Drew Allard to, to have the same type of career that, that Christian Hackenberg ended up having, even though Christian obviously did have a lot of success in a lot of ways. The wind certainly didn't follow necessarily uh, in just a radically different situation, you know, just a, a completely different era and time in the program. But you you would think that Drew has it all in front of him, right? Yeah. There's just this opportunity, and and hey, a big part of that. And talking to Chuck Losey after their workout last week, Drew is not a naturally loud guy, right? He's not a, a boisterous. He's not a hey, look at me kind of guy. But they're they're going to want to see some of that. They're going to want to see some of him stepping up and saying, hey, this like. Yeah, I'm gonna beat Bo in the competition, but also this is my team. This by default, this is my team. 
Uh, and, and I think that's hard. That's hard for any guy to do, let alone uh, somebody who's kind of filling into the shoes of a Sean Clifford who really had that locked down for three years, right, right. In, in his tenure at Penn State. Yeah. What else? Uh, I, what, I don't know. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's move on from quarterbacks here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't talk about it all day. 